is Josh Westmoreland and I'm the Robotics Project Manager here with Cross Robotics. I want to welcome you to the first entry in our video blog series that's going to be highlighting some of the features of the Universal Robot. We're really excited about this series because not only are we going to be showing you some of these features, but we're going to be giving some programming and integration tips to really help you make the most of your Universal Robot experience. Today we're going to be featuring and showing you safety planes. Now safety planes can be used in a few different ways and we're going to get into a few of those later. So if you'll join me on the Teach Pendant, I'm going to be showing you how to make a collaborative robot even safer using safety planes. So the first thing we want to point out here is that there are only two waypoints that we're moving back and forth with between this program. So now as we go into the installation file, we're going to create our plane and select the plane icon there. Now under plane one, we've got three points that we have to set. I've already done this to save time, but these three points are going to determine what your plane is. As we move into the safety configuration, we have to enter our password to allow us to get into the safety device. So now the password's entered, we're going to hit the green check mark, and now under copy feature, we need to select the plane that we just created. Now under boundary restricts, we're going to detail what we want it to do. So here we want to trigger reduce speed mode. This sets our safety configuration, and all we have to do is apply and restart, and then we'll configure, or confirm our safety configuration to move forward and trigger reduce speed mode with this safety plane. So now we have our safety plane set up. And as I mentioned before, there's a couple of different ways that you can utilize safety planes to help create a safe work environment. The first of which would be to have the safety plane act as a software wall to where the robot won't allow its tool center point to pass through that plane. The second of which, and the, what we're featuring right here, is to have that safety plane trigger a reduced speed mode in the robot. So as you saw before, as we were going through the teach pendant section, we've got two waypoints here, and we're simply moving back and forth between those waypoints without any different kind of speed calculations or anything like that. All we do is have the robot set up where the safety plane triggers the reduce speed mode, which is right here. So let's say, for instance, you had a machine tending application. When the robot goes inside the machine to load or unload parts, whatever the process calls for, it can be operating at full speed, and when it gets on the outside of that machine, it goes into a reduced speed mode to help create a safe and productive work environment around people. This is just one of the many videos that we're going to be putting out for you guys and one of the many features of the UR robot that there is to highlight. So again, I'm Josh Westmoreland and I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Join us next time as we discuss the palletizing wizard that's in the Universal Robot. So stay tuned to CrossRobotics.com and please let us know if there's any questions or any needs that we could help you with.